the special look of this GT because AMG has decided to go full black on this and it looks absolutely amazing. Just look at the way they did it. I really love it. These here are finished in 21 inches and look absolutely gorgeous. I'm a huge fan. It's cool to have F1 technology now road legal. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all new 2024 AMG GT. But as you can already see it's fully covered in camouflage because it's a special one. Today I will be doing a full walk around of this showing you all the exterior highlights. Afterwards we'll actually finish it all off with a resume because we can't look in the inside. Let me just go ahead and start with the rear because that's where things get more exciting whoa this is the eqxx guys watch this but we will be focusing on the amg gt here because right here on the rear you can already see we have a charger port actually it looks like a charger port i can't say if it really is but you know this is the charger port they always put on the gt gt4 or also had that so what you can say is maybe because amg has already announced this being in plus 800 horsepower gt i would say that this is the amg gt 63 e performance so the hybrid model of the gt2 door making plus 800 horsepower so what we can or what we already know is that we have the gt63 coming with the v8 the v8 gives us a total output of 585 horsepower so in addition to that we have the electric drive unit by amg giving us a lot more power again making this a plus 800 horsepower beast but anyways let me just start with the tour especially with the front because it looks super special giving you a few more insights talking about the few things and the special look of this gt because amg has decided to go full black on this and it looks absolutely amazing just look at the way they did it i really love it everything here in the front is fully blacked out except for the panamericana which i love i love this always keep that in chrome and then here on the side you have a nice red finish super cool but let's just start with the front here in specific because this is something very very interesting we have the gt2 door with the tinted headlights as soon as you have a closer look here on the headlamps you can see these are fully tinted you can see the three dot led the gt specific uh, headlights here but fully blacked out which looks amazing in addition with the black exterior finish so talking about the front in general we have a few features which we already know from the gt the gt63 i've already shown you the car in the studio and also i've shown you the car which i saw in pebble beach which was finished in blue mud you can see the amg specific so-called panamericana grill here which is finished in chrome with the AMG badge over here as well with the Mercedes-Benz style as a 3D emblem. I'm actually super sorry for all the background noises because we are right now at the Mercedes-Benz IAA place here where they display a lot of cars and they are just rearranging and realigning everything, making it ready for the public days which will follow tomorrow. But anyways, we'll be focusing on the GT in specific. I hope the audio and everything is great on this. With the GT, we have a new front bumper, as you can see. Back in the days, we used to have the V8 specific front bumper with the intakes, but now you can only have these intakes here on the side because the grill itself is already humongous. You have a lot of air coming in with the grill. And then down here, we have an extension giving us GT Black Series vibes on a GT. It looks absolutely great. How do you like it? In addition, with the full black finish on the front it looks so good in my opinion it's also the first time for me seeing a gt in a, in a dark finish or in black here in the front in specific i'm a huge fan i have to say i really like it also the way they tinted the windows for the first time ever i've never seen that on an amg from amg so on the side talking about the gt the gt is sharing the exact same wheelbase as the sl so when you compare it with the predecessor gt the gt actually grew it's way longer and larger than the predecessor GT and now you also have the option to go with plus two seats in the new GT back in the days the GT used to be only two seater but now we can go with four seats 
So two plus two seats. And you can even put the seats down and it's an option. You can still go with a two seat if you want. Apart from that, the new GT is also an all wheel drive vehicle now. It comes with the 4Matic Plus system. Super, super nice. Makes the car so much more practical now. Back in the days, the, the old GT used to be a rear wheel drive car and it was super powerful. So yeah, rear wheel drive cars with a lot of horsepower is uh, yeah a bit difficult to control, but super, super fun. Let me just give you a closer look here on the wheels. We have the most beautiful wheels on the AMG GT. So the cool thing about these is that they are finished in black with a nice red detail here and they come with the carbon ceramic brakes, which are an option. I really love the look on these, also coming with the Michelin Pilot Sport S5. These here are finished in 21 inches and look absolutely gorgeous. I'm a huge fan. On the side here, we usually have the V8 badge here and also with the extension here to make the body look wider. You can also see everything here also finished in black. We have even the front, everything is tinted. You can't even have a closer look in the inside. As soon as I just, there you go, you can see a bit of the interior. It's a nice white interior. It's actually a copy paste of the interior, which we've already seen. So there's nothing special on that, I guess. The door handles are seamless from factory with every GT. You can actually fill up your with gas from this side. In the rear, we have the 21 inch, again, multi-spoke wheels. You can even go with, I think, silver and golden wheels with this wheel option. They look so nice, carbon ceramic brakes, red details all around. I just love the conversion here from the black and then going into the red. Also, we have the aero package. So the car comes with a rear spoiler. If you don't have the rear spoiler, you just still have one which you can put out automatically. It's just an option to go. But for me, the aero package here with the rear spoiler looks absolutely gorgeous. But now let me just give you a final look on the rear. As I mentioned, I would say that this is the AMG GT two-door 63E performance. So AMG has already said that it's an electrified version of the GT, is a hybrid model and comes with the electric drive unit giving us plus 800 horsepower. And imagine guys, a GT two-door with plus 800 horsepower, imagine. This is an absolute monster, I'm telling you. Apart from that, yeah, from the exterior wise, there is not a lot of changes when you compare it with the base GT. And overall, as I mentioned, we have the aero package, also here in the diffuser, you can see that, and also with the port here to charge the car. The rear diffuser is full finished in black gloss, as you can see, absolutely nice with the uh, silver finish on the exhaust tips, AMG engraved V8. I love it. Can't wait to hear the sound in the future. The rear tail lights are also fully tinted, which looks so like, absolutely amazing. Huge fan of it. Fully blacked out tail lights here, and then it's actually connected. It kind of looks like it's connected, but this part is not illuminated at all. We have the Mercedes Benz star still finished in chrome. All in all, guys, how do you like this? AMG GT2 door. I can't wait to show you more. All in all, that's actually it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. At this point, also special thanks to Mercedes-Benz for inviting us, for letting me film here at the booth in Munich city center. If you are around, go ahead and check out the cars that they have here, also with the EQS SUV Maybach. And they even have the AMG one sitting right next to it. And in the back, you can see the record run uh, of the AMG one on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. It's the fastest production car on the Nordschleife. It's absolutely amazing. I think Maro Engel, he got the record. I'm just so proud of that. And I'm not sure if this is actually the original car they got the record with, but I think it's cool to have that standing next to the AMG GT because the AMG GT two door and the electric drive units is actually inspired by the Formula One. It's cool to have F1 technology now road legal. It's super, super cool. Guys, how do you like it? I'll be finishing off the video at this point. I'm already looking forward to see you all again and wish you guys an amazing day. I will be back.